So, we've got the business breakdown happening. I know, pretty exciting. I'm really excited. I like this business too. I like the business that we're going to look at. Um, you know, the the whole thing here is that I'm a junkie for these shows. You are. And I talk to you about them all the time. Like, every day we're working, I'm talking to you about the new show that I just watched I and that it's business. pretty much every day. It's probably obnoxious. But that's why we created this segment. <laughs> so this is the business breakdown. And you're watching the Bigger Better Biz channel here on YouTube. And today we're looking at one of the newest, latest episodes from The Prophet, starring Marcus Limonis. The Prophet is a show that's on CNBC, and just a disclaimer, we are not affiliated with CNBC, nor Marcus Limonis, nor The Prophet. We are strictly no. marketing guys, Yeah. and we're, we work with a lot of small businesses, and what we wanted to do was take our expertise and take a look at the business that Marcus invested in. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. So... What I think we should do is we should really start with introducing the business. Sure, go for it. Okay, so the business was formerly known as NYC Bagel Deli. So it has several locations around the Chicago area. And NYC Bagel Deli was owned by Corey Kaplan. No relation, he starts his name with a, a last name with a K. But he started in Florida, moved up, had a chance to buy out another bagel business in Chicago and then built a, a rather successful bagel business and the margins as he even said they're amazing. Unbelievable. I think it was like 10 cents to make it. 10 cents to make it and you're and selling a dollar 20 or something 20. like that. buck 20. That's, that's absolutely that's insane good. those margins and margins for those of you that are watching that are just learning that's profit right? So it costs him 10 cents he sells it for 120 that means every bagel he sells he makes a dollar and 10 cents. Pretty insane. Pretty I mean good. then you factor in other things of course. So NYC Bagel Deli is a business that Marcus Limonis is looking into, and Marcus is really interested in it. He, he has gotten into some different confections and some different food companies, and this is uh, this is one of his new ventures that... Yeah, and you he know, likes it because of the profit margins. Loves it because of the profit yeah. margins. And so Marcus goes in, he explores the business, starts to get to know Corey and his wife, um, and one of the big things is that Corey, Corey Kaplan, is the figurehead. He's the star of the show. He's the bagel guy. But it's been called NYC Bagel Deli for the longest time. So Marcus works with Corey, and he explores the different businesses. He actually decides, instead of Corey having to create all of the dough and make the bagels in one shop and drive them over to another, Marcus invests not only, invested 200000 200 k 200k into the business and also two, for I think it was 20 percent 20 percent yeah and then uh, he did the commissary for right two million dollars I think two million dollar build out of a commissary a centralized location so a commissary is a central kitchen where they can create manufacture all the bagels and then distribute them to all the stores and also do wholesale and everything else so he's all in for 2.2 mil yeah he said it was a it was a big investment so it's this is a huge investment we would expect that with a huge investment, Marcus is going to make sure that everything is top notch. Yeah. Right? I's are dotted and T's are crossed, right? I should be dotted, lowercase j should be dotted. I mean, everything. Because with that kind of money put into it, and especially at the end, the big thing was Corey was fighting the rebranding of the company. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. There was uh, like some. personal reasons. It was personal reasons, some, some family history. Yeah. And so Corey didn't want to name it Corey's Bagel Deli. Well, in the end, Marcus insisted, Corey's wife insisted, and they did name it Corey's NYC Bagel Deli. So now Corey is a part of the brand, and we'll get into that a little bit too. Sure. But let's look just from, if someone's looking, like let's say someone's watching the show. Yeah. One of the first things that they might do is pick up their, their tablet mm -hmm. or their phone, and they're going to search because they want to find out more about the business right. as they're watching the show. It's that multi-tablet, multi-screen experience. Everybody does it, right? Right? Everybody do. does it. So someone picks up their computer, their tablet, and they search. What do they see when they type in NYC Bagel Deli or Corey's Bagel Deli? Well, I typed in Corey's too because I want to get Okay. There. First thing they see, I mean, if you can see my screen right now, um, we see NYC Bagel Deli. What, you told me the name was Corey's, right? It's Corey's. It's Brandon Confusion, Corey's. Right? So right there, we're seeing mass confusion. 
And what's happening is all these people watching the show, and even people that are in Chicago, I'm sure there's a great fan base there, Yeah, they're looking for it, and now they're seeing NYC Bagel Deli. So despite the fact that it was previously named NYC Bagel Deli, yeah. you have to know that. Now there's that confusion. And if you confuse them, you lose them. So part one right here, we're seeing NYC Bagel Deli a few times. Yeah, it's right? not only in the listing, like the Google listing, it's also here in the title of their website. Also there on the title of the website. So let's break down, if you can, let's break down the search engine results page. So this is called the SERP or the search engine results page. This is right after you commit a query or you search for something, in this case on Google, and now you're seeing all of the results within the search engine. So on the left hand side, we see there are no paid ads. If we saw a paid ad, there would be a little box that has a green box and it would say ad. So we see no ads, and it's okay. On the under that, so basically on the left-hand side, if, since we don't have ads, now we see all the organic listings. So you can just kind of cursor over all the organic listings. These are listings that are aggregated by the search engine, by Google and its spiders, and they show up based off of what Jake searched for, which in this case was Corey's Bagel Chicago. On the right-hand side of the screen, you see the Google My Business profile. So this is a very powerful tool. It's a free tool, and actually, Jake, you know, in case you didn't know, oh, I, I present for Google and their Get Your... You do know. I, I present for Google and their Get Your Business <laughs> Online program. This is something... I even... I talked to you... I think the two things that I talked to you about the most are the TV shows I'm addicted to yeah. and Google My Business. And you make fun of me being a bike racer. <laughs> he did that. I didn't... Listen, <laughs> we're going to have to show him the... We're going to have to just... Someday. Yep. Maybe Someday. shot to the, the poster behind you, the, the little... The canvas. But... Google My Business is a very powerful thing. As you can see, it's taken up a lot of room on the search engine results page. Yeah, it's important. So in this case, you did a direct search or a branded search, if right. you can scroll up, and it, you're typing the name in, Corey's Bagel Chicago. Mm -hmm. But if someone's just typing in Bagel Restaurant Chicago or Bagel Shop Chicago, well... Why don't we try that? Let's try it and see. So we're going to type in Bagel Shop Chicago. Now again. They come up number one. So someone might type that in because they're not paying full attention to the show and the branding or they're confused by the branding. They're typing in Chicago Bagel Shop. It's still showing up as NYC Bagel Deli. Well, it's a different location actually than is this it? one. Yeah, because you can see here this one mm -hmm. has 169 reviews and is here near one street. This location is, I don't even know, I'm not showing, is uh, North Ave. Is North Ave. Mm -hmm. Well, in both cases, that they could still, be anyone's, right? Yeah. Now there's no branding consistency. Right. Those could be, a, that could just be another New York bagel belly. Yeah. So one of the things is that it was such a generic name Yeah. that you don't see that there's that brand Check this consistency. Out. So you can see here too, they're using single platform. Mm -hmm. But yet they didn't update that one smart piece of information, the name of their business. The name of their business. So they're, they're using some technology yeah. right now. Which is and a great platform. Single platform is a great platform. It was purchased by Constant Contact, mm -hmm. which provides email marketing. It's actually one of the, the pieces of software, the platforms that we use with our yeah, customers. That's why we know it well. Yep, and single platform provides restaurateurs and also some spas and service providers the ability to create a menu. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can even order online, as you can see on the screen. So they're using a really powerful tool, but it shows that they're okay. They're adopting adopting technology and yeah. they're trying to move forward with you know staying up with the digital times. Sure, but the consistency is off when it comes to the branding. Right, and including the image, including the images. Let's look at the images right there. Okay, so we're seeing the old NYC Bagel Deli. Now, I will say this: in the episode, we don't know. Did he get all three? Did he brand all three? I don't know. I don't know that. Th they don't show that, so right. maybe it's it's in the process of being branded, but right now... But, I mean, on their website, they're all branded. On the website, they're branded. Right, because let's see. We're jumping around here a little bit, but... Mm -hmm. So, Dearborn, Wacker Drive. And North Ave. Oh, there is. Which is the one you North found. Ave, yeah. So, those are the three. So, we have to... But here's the thing. We're marketers. We do yeah. this every day. We can jump to the website, and really quick, we can compare. Figure but it out. A hungry consumer, and one that's so hungry that they're angry. You've, you've heard hangry. Be hangry. Right? That's how I get. That's how, that's how I get. So you get hangry. So a customer so hangry 
they're not going to go and do that cross check and all that stuff. They're right. going to want to make sure this is the right restaurant, yeah. the right place. Okay. So what we're seeing here is there's branding inconsistency. Which actually is funny you say that because I remember on the show, um, he was saying, Marcus was saying, one of the big things he didn't like about the business was the inconsistency of the brand. And you'd think like one of the first things he would do when you know adding some money in is, is actually work on that consistency. Mm -hmm. And he didn't. And he didn't. At and least not yet. At least not yet. But but okay, listen. All due respect to Marcus Lemonis, I think he's an amazing guy. I watch the show. I learn a lot from what he does. Um, brilliant. 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 He's he's a self-made success. But I will say this: the show was filmed months ago, many moons oh, ago. Yeah. And so it aired just recently, just within a few weeks. There should have been those changes. Yeah. So whether it's Marcus Lamona's marketing or one of his marketing companies, or if it's a third party, they should be on this stuff. Yeah. Or Marcus Lamona should work with us. <laughs> Just saying. But let's Why look not? at the Google My Business profile a little bit. So you even pointed out they have 4.1 reviews, or 4.1 stars, I'm sorry, 169 Google reviews. Mm -hmm. Now, Google reviews can be left by anyone with a Google account. What we've seen and what I've seen and we're going to see as we do more business breakdowns because I think, I'm hoping people this like this. This is fun. Fun for us anyway. It's fun for us. Hopefully I think people like would want to watch this. I mean, you can see us, you can see the screen so you see what yeah. we're looking at. But if Marcus has had a bad experience with a restaurant or a business, you'll see negative reviews because everybody is a fanboy and all yeah. of a sudden they're standing up for Marcus's honor. So they're going to actually leave negative reviews. I've even read somewhere it says like, how could you do that to Marcus? Really? They haven't, and that That's actually funny. violates Google's terms of right, service when it comes to reviews. It wasn't a customer. So if a business owner really wanted to, they could have those flagged and removed by Google because they're not a real customer. But needless to say, reputation looks good. 169 reviews, not bad. I think they could proactively grab a lot more. Oh, I mean, especially now. they're in New York City. I mean, I'm sorry, they're in Chicago. Chicago. Metropolitan area, three yeah. locations. Right. Right? So now that they're going to have the brand consistency. I would expect a thousand, time. honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, if I were looking at this objectively, I would just say probably like a thousand. Yep. And let's look. I mean, Yelp. Yelp is uh, obviously a different review platform, and it's one that business owners don't have a lot of control over. I'm not sure this is theirs. I don't Corey's think Bagels is, on the Beach. Yeah, I don't think that's them. I think that no. might be their old one in Florida. There's one down below. So. Yeah, I bet that's their old one. Yeah, that's got to be the okay. So then let's look down below though. NYC Bagel Deli. We're seeing three hundred thirteen reviews, four mm -hmm. stars. So they have more Yelp reviews. Obviously, metropolitan area, a lot more Yelpers. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. One thing that, that this is showing is okay. Yelp has a lot of reviews, so people that are using Yelp makes total sense. If you're in a metropolitan area, most likely you're, you might use Yelp or Foursquare. But Google is still the go-to. Google is where you're finding the information. So they need more review distribution. They need even, even keel distribution. So they should be proactively trying to grab more Google reviews so that they have 300 on Yelp and 300 or 400 or 500 on Google. And then go for TripAdvisor and then go for some of the other review sites that have to do with restaurants. Yeah. Makes sense? Makes total sense to me. Now the rest of their information, I will say this. So let's just go down if you can mouse over it. Uh, above, there's the that's the description. So the description, you have up to 750 characters. They're not using that. And this is where once they rebrand as Corey's NYC Bagel Deli, yeah. then you can say formally NYC Bagel Deli. And you can also say as seen on the profit. Makes right? sense to me, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you want to use that? Yeah, so you want to, you want to be using that. You want to try to get as much star power as you can. One of the things that you'll see with these businesses People will watch the show, and so the show will have, it will air on a network, and then it will show streaming, it will be in syndication, and you're going to see diminishing returns for the viewership of that show, right? Strike while the iron's hot. This is where I would make sure I have all of that information right there so that people can check and make sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, you've got the address, great. You have the hours, very, very important. Mm -hmm. Uh, no holiday hours, though. No holiday hours that we're seeing, and the holidays could are coming be up. Couple. Could be in a week. Could be coming up. Um, you have the, the ability to order from several different sites. Mm -hmm. It's great. The phone number. And one thing that I'm seeing, if you scroll down a little bit, keep scrolling. 
So see where it says posts from NYC Bagel Deli? I knew you there. I knew it. Posts are so important. They're mission critical now. A post is an update that you can create on your Google My Business profile. And these posts live for seven days. So Google actually allows you to create the post. And I'm not even going to ask you when it was posted. I'll ask you in a second. <laughs> I'm not looking. You can go on to Google and you can go into your Google My Business dashboard and create a post. And since they have three locations, they would have three different posts. Now these posts live for seven days. You can do a coupon, you can do a promotion, an event, you can link to somewhere, like to order now. This is where I would use posts to showcase the bagel sandwiches, especially at lunchtime. Hey, you hungry? We've got this beautiful turkey bagel sandwich, or we've got a Reuben on a bagel type of thing. Then also, if you want to, if sales are slow, they could use the post to drive traffic to the site. Hey, come in now, buy two bagel sandwiches, get a free bag of chips or a free drink or whatever. So they could use some promos to upsell and get some more, some more revenue. Now, one of the other things with posts is you can also upload video. On the show, they showed how they made the bagels. Yeah. How they actually like the machine cut the bagels. It came through the assembly line. They wrapped them up and they put them on the sure. on the tray. Yeah. And then the tray they slid in. People are interested in that kind of stuff. How it's made, mm -hmm. right? Like you just eat the bagel. You're like, this is amazing. The bagel is, you know, has a nice crust on the outside. It's fluffy on the inside. Well, we should be showing those things. Show how the bagels the bagels cut and the steam comes out of it. Yeah. Those types of things will make people salivate. That's going to make people want to go eat at Corey's, especially when the fanfare is over. Yeah. When was the last post? It was like 2017. It's okay. been a while. It hurts. But yeah. needless to say, it's something that they can continue to do. Mm -hmm. They should start doing it for all three locations. Yeah, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Okay, so Jake, why don't we actually click on to the website? We've broken okay. down search engine results and Google yep. My Business. What do you think about the website? What do I think? <laughs> what do you? Let me let me get ready for this ride. What do you What do you think in here? I, you know, the first thing I do see, it's good. They do the branding. They do have the correct branding here on the website. That's that's good to see, mm -hmm. right? They made that change, but. I'm not finding a ton of direction. Yeah, I mean, they have the catering, they have order pickup, Grubhub and stuff. I guess that's fine. But to me, I think the one question, I'm left with a question here. I know there's a lot of locations, right? So if I it's order, locations, yeah. I assume it's going to like ask me what location. Let's see. We'll see what it does. It doesn't. So you, first thing you have to do is... Well, you have to pick your order, and I assume... I so let's assume. Go it. Let's go through it. Yeah, why not? I'm going to pick the spicy buffalo chicken sandwich. And we're doing this more from a user experience standpoint, so it's really important. You know what? This place is, is probably already getting a lot of traffic judging oh, yeah. by the reviews, but now are people going to be coming to the site and ordering more because of this you know, prominence? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I'm just picking some random things here. some random stuff. Ordering system is fine. It's pretty basic. You can add to cart. So they're basically using an e-commerce mm -hmm. shopping cart. Proceed to checkout. Estimated shipping and tax. So what they've done is they've used a shopping cart platform. I'm not sure which one. Mm -hmm. um, it could be one that they've integrated in. It could be one that's that they built the whole site on, which could explain some of the usability stuff. It's so slow, oh my goodness. Very slow. and that's where you could lose an order too. But you see, you know, like shipping and tax and those things, that doesn't apply. So right there, the user experience is taken away from Okay, it. now I finally get to the point where I can say I want to pick it up somewhere. So they show- It only gives two options. It only gives two options and they show delivery and tax and all that stuff. So they don't even have delivery. You have to go through a delivery site. So that's where, okay, they're, they're fighting against Grubhub and yeah. Seamless and those those ones Uber Eats yeah, and stuff they like that some money from them. because they take money from them but they don't have the right setup yeah, so it takes away from the user experience yeah. therefore they're probably losing online sales I bet they're not getting a lot of sales through this actual website okay. I'm sure people are going to Grubhub mm -hmm. It'd be so much easier they even have sandwich delivery right there yeah okay exactly so and it says pickup but like I said I mean so I'm confused because it says order pickup the first thing I would be like oh I want to pick it up from this store. Yeah. That's like Which the last store? thing. Where I are see, you? Choose right? your location and then Right, and then go. So click on let's check out catering because we know 
I mean, Marcus really liked it. He built the commissary. Catering is going to be a huge business oh, man. for them. Catering is going to be right? huge. All of the restaurant sure. clients that we've worked with over the, the years, big. catering's been huge in that we've helped to build up well, their catering business. See some branding issues. Okay. So, oh, NYCBD, which New York City Bagel Deli. See, it already confuses me. Coffee Traveler. So they haven't gone through the site. They haven't combed with a fine tooth comb to make sure that the branding is legit and yeah, is consistent. Exactly. And you know, in the show, if you go back and watch the show, one of the things he's most proud of, he says, I made it because I have my own coffee cups. Remember that? Yep. He says that in the show. I got goosebumps from that. That was kind of cool, right? Yeah. But he doesn't even have them on the website. No. Doesn't have them on the website, so you can't you can't buy any of the promo merchandise. No. Which again, I would have bought a shirt. I would have bought a shirt if the it was available. Cool. Right. I mean, we're going through and we're we're basically breaking. We're doing a business breakdown. I would buy something. Yeah. Why not? Right. But I would have worn it today. Me too. I would have worn my Corey shirt. I love the color. I think it's yeah. great. So here's a question for you. What if I have a custom order? That's a good point. What do you do? Where do you go? What do you do? Does is there anything like? There's not even. I have contact. to assume. I mean, you know, being reasonable, I would probably call the local one, whichever one's closest to me. So. But you'd think there would be the numbers here, like, hey, if you don't want to order online, go give your local location a call. Or a lo or a contact form. Right. Basic contact form. What are you interested mm -hmm. in? How many people? Where are you located? We'll Someone will call me. you. Right. Yeah, so missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. But again, that's that's mm -hmm. huge. With you've gotten them this far, they've now they've found you. They've engaged with the site. They're clicking around. They've come to the page where they really are interested. Yeah. Don't make me think. Don't make me think. Have a mechanism for me to convert. Sure. So this is where a conversion loss, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to have a lot of people fall off of this because, like, click on locks and bagels. Okay, it's in stock. Thank goodness. It's in stock. <laughs> so, I was worried about that. Right? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Got the skew there. You're showing... Yeah. Okay. So I can add quantity ten. I wanted to add it to my wish list for a catering. Yeah, add it to a wish list. <laughs> Let's compare the locks and bagels to something else. So, again, yeah, we're we're being funny and we're you know we're kind of poking at it, but it's not a good user experience. This isn't something that where I'd, if and think about the people that order catering. Party planners. I would never order from this. No. I, I would call them and be like, I looked at your website. Here's what I want. Here's <laughs> what I want to do. But you're making me do more work. Right. So instead, I would have a grid where it's like, what are you interested in? Locks and bagels. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to you know, fill out this. We're going to send you some information. Yeah. Or we're going to call you right away. And then that's where the catering person calls right away and makes the sale. Yeah. So for Probably me... Like upsell too, right? For me, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, not really not crazy that. about this. All right, let's move on. Yep. Let's move on. How about uh, gift cards? That should be an easy one. It's the holiday mm -hmm. season. Yeah. Gift cards. Gift cards. Huge, huge business here. What? Okay. Branding issues. Uh, branding, again. Yep. So they probably printed out old gift cards, but that's where... Just print out the new ones. So what about $10, 25 dollars? The what denominations. What if I give 100 Right? Or 200 Because 25 is kind of cheap. Yeah. It's probably, now, like, you like know, with inflation. It's not much. It's, yeah, it's not much now. You're, you're not going to give that to your college kid. I mean, no. you'll have it gone in a day. We have, like, birthdays where my wife is like, let's give them $75. <laughs> now, what? I used to get, like, 10 I know, right? I was lucky. So, okay, we don't have a custom amount. Mm -hmm. Big thing, right? So now you're going to make me, if I want to give away $100, let's say that I have a client that I want to treat for, you know, for Christmas, sure. Hanukkah, whatever, the holidays. I can only do 25 bucks, and then I have to do multiple quantity. Yeah. So you're telling me that I have to give my client two or three or four gift cards? <laughs> <laughs> I would look at you like, are you kidding me? Hand them to so, your friends. Hand them. Hey, here you go. Here you go. I really have one. So, okay. Another missed opportunity there. Yeah. Um, now, one thing that we didn't look at, and it just came to me. What's up? Check out the title of the page. You mean homepage? Yes. <laughs> you mean that page this title? Is, this is something we tell people all the time. Oh my goodness. A missed opportunity here. Yeah. So the the title of the page is homepage. And the title can be anywhere from, let's say, 40 to 60 characters, right? Because you have to consider mobile and it can be truncated. So title shouldn't be too long. What are you doing here? Homepage. 
Oh, oh so you got <clears throat> geeky here. I got, got a little I geeky got a little on geeky. me. Yeah, so sorry about that. Jake is viewing the page source, and the page source actually shows you all the code that goes into the specific web page you're on. Mm-hmm. So, okay, you just highlighted, it said that's the title of yeah, the page. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's important. It's a homepage. If you didn't know... So, if I'm someone that is designing this website, right? wouldn't I want to use the brand name and or a product or service that I provide? So, in this case, Chicago's Best Bagels, yeah. Corey's NYC Bagel Deli, right. or Corey's Bagel Deli. Absolutely. Right? I would use a couple different things. Then throughout the site, you continue to use different page titles mm -hmm. that align with what the page is about. But also, you know, pull in based on search results, yep. based on what people are searching for. So keywords. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. So so we could actually go and use something like Google Ads Keyword Planner, right. And find out what people are looking for. Exactly. So it could be like, I mean, I don't know anything about Chicago, but you know, South End Chicago or North End Chicago. Yeah. Bagelry. You know, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So best bagels in in Chicago Land. Right. Right. So best bagels in Dearborn. We saw the different locations. Yep. So even that, because people are using the words best. Right. They're using it more and more because... And near. And near me. So best, yeah, best bagels near Chicago, near whatever. We don't, again, we don't Sears know. Sears Tower. Sears Tower, yeah, whatever. The river, I don't I don't know, the pier. <laughs> so well, I'm from Boston. There's, there's I'm sorry. water there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. So needless to say, this is a really, a big missed opportunity. Yeah. And the description as well is NYC Bagel Deli and Catering. Yeah. Description can be about 140 to 150 characters. Right. Right? And then it gets truncated. So this right here is definitely not anywhere near that. No. And that's where you could say... And it's the wrong branding. It's the wrong branding, but guess what? The first thing I would say, as featured on the profit. Oh, man, yeah. And then enjoy a delicious bagel sandwich Sh at the NYC, at Corey's famous NYC yeah. Bagel Deli. Chicago's Best Bagels, recently featured on... Yep. So there's so much you can put in yeah, there. Exactly. Because then, where do these two things show up? They show up all the way back here in Google. Okay, so that's so this top one. See? So can you explain to me something and explain to everybody watching? Mm -hmm. Why does it say NYC Bagel Deli instead of homepage? It pulls that in because that's the name of the business. Okay, or the name of the site. Right. Okay, so because they just did the generic homepage, mm -hmm. it said, eh, we're going to change this to the business name. Yeah, NYC a lot of times, you, with the homepage, a lot of times in search, if you actually physically search for the business, even if you do have a longer page title, it'll still show just the business name. Okay. So. And then the description, what we just saw in that page right source there. that you're showing, NYC. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a very big missed opportunity. Yeah. This is showing up at the top, and we could see the words, the profit. We could see best bagels, delicious bagels, Chicago, all Marcus of those Limonis. different things. Marcus Limonis. All those things, especially if it's not a legal issue, right? use that star power. And I'm sure Marcus would be fine with that because- He's an investor. He owns 20%. Right. Right? He's an investor. So again, um, looking at the website- And they should do that on every single page, you know, on the about page and the contact page. This is very true. Cetera. So yeah. it shouldn't just be about us. It should be mm -hmm. either about Corey's famous NYC bagels, right. best bagels in Chicago or something. Recently featured on the- Recently product. featured on the- pro As like a that. part of the description. Right. So, we're not going to get too much into on-page SEO here, but you have an idea. Meta titles and meta description, two elements of your site that are very, very important and mission critical for when you're showing up in search engine results. And easy to do. Easy to and do. And quick to do. So even if you're busy, you can take an hour and you can probably get most of it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You no. know what people are searching for. I mean, you can go and spend well, hours and days. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the things. You should always be looking and go back to the Keyword Planner. So if you're looking, go to Google and type in Keyword Planner. Mm -hmm. If you have a Google account, you can access it. See what people are searching for in your neck of the woods. Yeah. Now, we're, we've looked at the site. Okay, so we've gone through the ordering experience. We looked at catering, looked at the, the on-page SEO, some of it. Mm -hmm. um, let's look at social. Good idea. Yeah. I'd say there's some more here, but yeah, I think it's totally good. Let's go to social. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Well, there's the branding. So finally, the branding's on point. It's correct. Uh, the it's correct on the website too. It's correct on the website. So the website and the fa and the Facebook page have consistent branding. Now, the cover of this page is a bagel sandwich. 
looks fine. Although, you know, honestly, if I were just looking at this, mm -hmm. it, it might be a roll. It could be a roll. You don't really know because you I don't mean, have that perspective, huh? I, I definitely can tell it's a bagel, like if I look at it, but not not my first impression. But it's There's that, no hole. It's, re it's like that food porn, right? It's that <laughs> people are seeing it right. and now they start salivating. It's like lunch. It looks like they're selling the turkey or whatever that is, it and looks not like, the bagel. Like yeah, I'd be selling the bagels. because That hand-carved turkey. Right. So, with that, there are a couple opportunities there. One, you could put some branding on it so yeah. you could have a logo on there. You could change up the colors a little bit so that it really plays with the color scheme. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, like we're, like you're saying, maybe angle it up a little bit so you can see that it's a yeah. bagel, see the hole on top. Another thing is they could do a cover video. Uh, which would be really cool. Which would be really cool, especially a cover video of Marcus Limonis in the store. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Or making the bagels. Right. Oh my god, fanboys would go yeah. nuts, right? Yeah, Corey. I mean, yeah. it would be amazing. Yeah. So, right there, cover cover photo, cover video could be better. They do have the start order. Mm -hmm. Let's click on it. Let's see what it does. Grubhub. It goes to Grubhub. So it doesn't even go to their own store. But it goes to Grubhub for... They have no faith in their own store. <laughs> but click, click back for a second. Grubhub sure. to the Dearborn location. Right. So right there, instead of... You don't even know... Like, why that location? Why that location? Probably because so, it's delivery and that's where they, they do it, but it still is definitely confusing. Then you know what? You make a landing page, in yeah. that case, that has three locations. You say, choose your nearest location, and then it goes to the Grubhub for that sure. specific location. Right. Simple, easy fix. Triage. Okay, go back to the social. So, we've got nearly 4,000 fans. That's great. That's great. Uh, 4.3 out of 5, based on 156 people. Again, could be up. Mm-hmm. But that's a good not rating. Not the worst. Not the worst. This is tied to the Dearborn location. So one thing that they haven't done yet, which is available for uh, multi-store locations or multi-store businesses, is you can actually have a locations tab. That's nice. And the locations you can choose the Dearborn, the North Street, all those. Sure. North Ave. So right there, another missed opportunity. We do see Corey finally, which is great. And we start seeing the product. And the branding. A the bit. branding, but... There's a hat. Yeah. We're in Tampa right now, and it's... It's freezing. It's 50... He's freezing. I'm from Boston. This is like summer, but it's like 55 degrees, 60 degrees out. It's cold. It's wonderful if we could have a hat like that. Where do we order them? Do we have to go in the store? We can't. So, right there, another missed opportunity. But now we're seeing some posts. Now, here's one thing, though. On a Facebook page, you can pin a post. Yeah. Wouldn't you pin the post, considering that the profit aired... Pin that post. It was just recently. It was just recently. So I would post, I would pin that for a few weeks mm -hmm. and really make sure that people are seeing oh, absolutely. Corey and Marcus. Yeah. Like, tag team it. Right. Get, get that star power as much as you can. And if I were Marcus, I would insist on that. Yeah. I'd say, guys, let's really build this. Let's make Pump sure that they know that the profit and Marcus Limonis is tied to this yeah. business. Just okay. be Okay, and they're. Let's see. So let's look at their posting frequency. So November 22nd, scroll up. December 6th, they are not posting frequently. If you click on posts over to the left, now we'll get an actual view of, of how many posts. So December 6th, we saw that one. November 22nd. November 12th. Okay. It'll be like two weeks. <clears throat> Again, a missed opportunity. Hey, they got Guy Fieri. They got Guy Fieri there. Very cool. That was October 31st. Mm -hmm. Very cool. But they they have way too many days two lapsing. Weeks. It's like two between, weeks. It's every two weeks. You should be posting three to five times a week. Yeah. If not more. Right. Right. Especially right now. You should be featuring the different sandwiches. Like, they, mm -hmm. they have the ability to create so many different, like, almost an infinite amount of bagel sandwich combinations. Yeah. Right, if you do the permutations, sure. which is a very n nerdy word, but they could showcase all the different bagels, they could showcase all the different mm -hmm. toppings, everything else, make your own bagel, people eating the bagels. Right, that social proof that I'm watching someone else eat the bagel, it's a video of someone biting in and then making this face like, Holy moly, right? I just bit into heaven. I'm looking for like, did they ever post anything about the show? I'm still not seeing it. Not to mention, I mean, no. there's not even that much engagement here. I mean... That's because they're not posting that much. So, you know, the it's it's shown that 
you're people you're gonna have less than one percent chance of people coming to your Facebook page. Right. Right. Now the ability for your organic posts, so that just means a post that you create, you upload something, you put it up. Mm -hmm. The ability for your organic post to show on the Facebook newsfeed is about two percent. Yeah. You have to pay to play. Right. Right now, I bet they've gotten a lot of fans over the past few weeks because people have watched the show. Sure. But this is a missed opportunity. Right here, this is what I would have done. And in the comments below, hey, disagree with me, agree with me, tell me what you would do differently. Right here, I would have had the shop set up since they have a shopping cart on their site and I would have had Corey's merchandise available. And yeah. I would have been promoting the Corey's merchandise. Because people would buy just that, right? Right? Yeah. And people are profit fans. Yeah. This just came out before Christmas and Hanukkah 2018. People can go and buy those those yeah. presents for people. People would totally buy it. They totally buy it. You could have seen huge revenue here. Yeah. So a little disappointed, honestly, because I think yeah, that's a missed huge missed opportunity. Um, but that's what we keep saying again right. and again. It seems like the theme of this one. Um, I agree. Needless to say, I'm... I, I think that the Facebook page definitely needs a lot of work. It needs if, if it was a report card that I got in elementary school, it would be NI, needs improvement. How about videos? Okay, look at the videos. Now, when were they posted? September 19th, July 9th, October 22nd, 2017. So again, the frequency and the cadence of videos is not good. Uh, click on that one. Now this is the same video. This is the same video that people actually see on the website. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of stuff though that people want to see. How their bagel sandwich is made. It's Making good. a Reuben. Looks Those delicious. Look Looks that stuff makes you salivate. Yeah. The branding's off, just make a new one. Mm-hmm. You can use a lot of the same B-roll footage. B-roll footage is footage that, you know. Can be yeah. used again. It's you just, just kind of random. Slot footage. in a couple of those things. Slot in different things. There's the wrong branding again, and it only shows the Dearborn location once again. Yeah. Show the three locations. So that's an awesome video if they use it properly, yeah. and if they could just pop in some of the newly branded stuff. Yeah, and they don't have any of the videos from the recent shooting either, or anything else. That's and that might be a legal thing. Yeah, it might. You be. know, it could that's be. That's all I can think of. Definitely, I'm, I'm wondering like. But could but even you, like offset? I mean, offset you know, getting Marcus. Phone. Yeah, just being like, hey, Marcus, let's do a quick video. Yeah. Just yeah, like or, my newest investor. Yeah, my newest investor. Or would it? You know, it could be a CNBC thing too. Mm -hmm. But could Marcus say, hey, let's take some? Marcus has done it before, though. Really? I've seen him when he was. Um, it was another episode where he was actually take, doing a Facebook Live video. Nice. So where's the Facebook yeah. Live for this page? Showing, hey, Marcus is in the store. He's making bagels right yeah. now. So they didn't get on it that way. Right. Same right. thing. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Okay, so... Do they have any events? No. No. Nope. All right. Time to wrap it up. All right. Time to wrap it up. So let's kind of go through, if you click back onto search engine results page. Sure. What are we giving a score? So on business breakdown, what we're gonna do at the end, just like if someone was making a dive, we're gonna give it, or you know, Dancing with the Stars, we're gonna rate it. Yeah. One, uh, one to ten. How would you rate the search engine results page? Mm, I'd say maybe a four to five. I think I think a four. Mm -hmm. I think you're being generous with the five. A four because there are a lot of missed opportunities with the meta title description. The branding's off. The URL is the URL wrong. The URL I mean, is wrong. It's right for what the business used to be. What it used to be, but they own Corey'sBagels.com now. Right. It should be going to Corey'sBagels.com. Mm -hmm. So all these things in consideration. Yeah, I'm going to give it a four out of ten. Okay, let's move to the website. Website. So we went through the user experience. We went through the different pages. Again, the meta title description. Some of those SEO elements. Sure. What are you thinking here? I'd say a five. You know, I mean, certainly they can do a whole, whole lot more. Um, the things they're leading with are okay, but I think it needs a little more direction. Um, I think, obviously, the SEO needs tons of work. So, I, I mean, yeah, I think if I were this business, I'd start over. 
Yep. But I'm going to stay with a four, okay. and I'll tell you why. I know I'm being harsh, but one, it's built on... Mean. I am mean. <laughs> I am mean, but, I'm, but the whole point of this is that I want to be honest and candid. And that's, that's my whole approach to when I'm teaching small businesses and, and at workshops and events for Google. I, I've, if I'm not honest with someone, then they're not going to get better. It's true. So, number one, it should not be built on a shopping cart platform. Number it's two, bizarre. There, you should be, like we said, with placing an order, it should be by location first. Right. So that you can actually qualify. And at the end, if I've gone through everything and I can only pick up from two locations, you have lost me as a customer yeah. forever. The catering is totally off. That you should have the contact form, right. and then scroll down. Keep going, keep going. Social media is at the end, and we didn't even get to the fact that they don't have email marketing. Oh, yeah, totally. We didn't talk that. about that, but there's no email marketing subscription tool. Probably because it wasn't here. Forgot it. <laughs> right? Yeah, we. That's we a big forgot. fail. That's like that's, a, that, that that's takes you down to a three. So. Oh my goodness. But. You know, email marketing aside, they'll get a, a zero or one out of ten because they don't have email marketing, which has been proven to be one of the highest drivers of ROI or return on basics. investment. Even for the basics, but to drive lunch specials, to yeah. pl- to drive catering orders, to sell this promo merchandise that he's so proud of having. Yeah. So what I would do, I mean, if I if I were these guys, I think what I would do is I'd probably start over on a platform like WordPress or Squarespace or something. I wouldn't even sell my actual physical um, products on here. I would sell like the t-shirts and things like that on the website. Yes. But I would focus on pushing all of the orders because they're already doing that to Grubhub. Clearly Grubhub. they don't want to deal with no. those internal issues. They don't have, they don't have the infrastructure for no. that. So push everything to Grubhub or Uber Eats or whatever. Focus your website on selling all the, you know, the merchandise. All the merchandise. Because that's where you're going to get a lot of sales now and, that it's yeah. co-owned by Marcus and Marcus. Right. And feature the, you know, the bagels and make them look really cool and exciting and Feature the locations and tell the story of the business, not just I would showcase, whatever's going on. Here. And, and I know we're getting off this whole rating system, but I would showcase the actual sandwich with the cup. Oh, yeah. Or with a shirt in the background. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Something like that. So you said, so are you revising your, your rating to three? Yeah, I think I'm going back down to three. You okay. know, I, I was trying to be nice. I, I'm going to, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, you're going to two? Here. No, <laughs> gonna... I'm going to say it four. I'll say it four. But either, either way, we're both giving, these are not the best scores. They're under five. They're under half. They're negative scores. Right. Basically, we're both at a consensus. They should rebuild their yeah. site. Yep. Okay, so we looked, and finally, social media. So social media, a um, lot of missed opportunities here. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I pointed out the cover photo can be changed, or an, a cover video would be huge for engagement. They're not posting enough. Yeah. We didn't even get into their other social mediums. Don't have to. But it's they're probably about the same. Probably about the same. But when we're looking at Facebook, which is the most popular uh, social medium with 2.3 billion monthly active users... Mm-hmm you got to be on par. It's the number three search engine yeah. behind Google and YouTube. Right. So they should be posting more. They should have more reviews or more recommendations. Mm-hmm. Um, it should have multiple locations, so not just the Dearborn address, but the other two. And honestly, I just think that it's it's a huge missed opportunity here for them to create a community after being on TV. That's the whole thing here. We're breaking down this business because they are on a national stage. They're on TV, on CNBC, on Hulu, on YouTube. Right. Right? So. Huge audience. Huge audience. I'm going to tell you, I would give this a three out of ten. Yeah. I, I, I kind of agree because. I mean, even, you know, we said 4,000 people liking this. That's, I mean, it's not bad for, like, a local business, but they're not a local business anymore. No. I mean, now they have such national and exposure. he's going to drive them into a national brand. Yeah. Easily. So, starting from, this is what I would call building on a foundation of sand. It's really not a good foundation to start on. That said, it can always be improved. They could start today. Mm-hmm. Once they see this video, they could go in and say, you know what? Screw those guys. We're going to start posting every day. Yeah. We're going to change our website. And maybe they already have it in the works. We don't know that. Yeah, they could be all of all this stuff in the works. We just don't know. We don't know. But considering it aired two weeks ago. I would be, uh, I'd be a little more busy. Yeah, you're the behind end. the ball. So we're going to give it a three out of ten. So on average, if we're averaging everything out, we're at about a four. 
Yeah, that's not good. So I think the whole thing here, and we, we have to, we agree on this. Yeah. Uh, we do this with utmost respect to you, Corey Kaplan, and Marcus Limonis. You have a great business. You've got a great business, and honestly, that's obvious. You've you've survived all these years. You've grown multiple locations. You're pulling in really good revenue per location, and I think with this business deal, you're going to pull in a lot more. What we're pointing out are the digital holes or the digital gaps that you could fill in order to really build a bigger, better biz. That's what we're here for. So, on behalf of Business Breakdown and the Bigger Better Biz Channel, I'm Brian Kaplan. I'm Jake Burns. And what I'm gonna ask you guys, for those of you watching, if you enjoyed the video, click like. If you have something, if you agree with us, if you disagree with us, we welcome it. Write it down in the comments below. If you go on to Corey's Bagel site or their social media, or you find something else that maybe they could improve, write it in the comments below. We'll reply to everyone. We read every single one. And finally, most importantly, yes. subscribe to the channel. This is the first of that many. Is very important. It's, it's like yeah, important. so many free tips. So many free tips. We're we're doing this free. What we're doing is we're trying to actually, in basically give you the know-how, the tools, everything you need to grow a bigger, better small business by yourself. By yourself. And what we've seen and why we're doing that is because there are so many people that want to take money, and they want to give you just a little bit. We're building a channel every day. Every day. This, this, this <laughs> you should is hear from our customers. It's amazing. You should, and you know, there's that's why they're past, they're past marketing firms. Yeah. So Marketing's. that's why we built the Bigger Better Biz Channel. So I'm going to ask you subscribe to Bigger Better Biz Channel and click on the bell. You'll be notified every single time we put out a new video, whether it's one of these long form videos like a business breakdown, or maybe it's going to be a quick marketing minute or it could be a definition for marketing so that you can learn a little bit more. We'll even have be having guests, we'll be doing tutorials, we'll be doing screen shares, all that good stuff to help you and really equip you with the tools and the know-how to grow that bigger, better biz. So until next time, here's to your success.